Hi, I'm Jeremy Smithson, and I'm with Puget Sound Solar. We've been installing solar energy systems since 2001 in the Seattle area. A lot of our customers already have, or they're in the process of uh, maybe doing, uh, you know, insulation upgrades or window upgrades or other types of, uh, you know, energy retrofits, and this just kind of fits in with, with what they're doing. So at this project, we have the luxury of standing right next to it, and we can see exactly what um, the crew is doing here. Thomas is up there connecting the wires to um, the PV modules and the microinverters. So the little shiny object that he's stepping over right now is a microinverter, one per panel. And um, those get installed first on the rails and then the, the panels get installed over the top. Those convert the DC electricity that's produced by the panels into AC electricity and synchronizes it with the house electric power. So um, these units actually sense the voltage and the frequency of the power that comes from the grid and then they synchronize themselves to that. And that allows the power to flow right into the house through a circuit breaker uh, where it goes to loads in the house. And then um, on a day like today, in the middle of the day, you got a sunny day. Uh, there aren't a lot of loads happening in the house right now, so the power that's being produced by these panels will most likely spin the meter backwards. And then the, uh, the customer actually gets retail credit for the energy that they're producing but not using, and it probably goes to the neighbor's refrigerators. <laughs> this is 2 kilowatts, 2.1 kilowatts in Seattle, um, that's going to produce, with this exposure, uh, we'll probably produce about 2,200, 2,300 kilowatt hours a year. And um, that's, um, compare that to the average uh, Seattle house that uses about 8,700 kilowatt hours a year. So we're looking at somewhere between a quarter and a third of the energy that required to run the house. Uh, oh, the electricity, anyway. In the Seattle area, um, it, we have a lot of small rooftops. Um, you could probably pan the camera around and see a lot of little roofs with uh, dormers and chimneys, plumbing vents, skylights. So the actual physical space that we have on a typical Seattle rooftop for solar panels is generally not that big. So power density is king. Um, we like to install the most power dense panels that we can get our hands on. Uh, that allows the customer to produce more energy per square foot. Um, one thing that, um, that really helps to, uh, you know, when you're trying to quantify the value of, of a renewable energy system is to, is to really evaluate how you're using energy in the home. So anything that, that helps people to, to get a better sense of, of how they're using energy and how much they're using, um, I think is a, not just an excellent tool, but a necessary tool. In our society, we're very disconnected from the reality of how we get energy. We flip a light switch on and the light comes on and you don't think about where those electrons had to come from or what you know motivated them. And um, so the more people can get in touch with uh, you know exactly how they're affecting um, you know the energy use in their home the better.